God bless you out there, YouTube land, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, new manna from heaven, new prophecy, you YouTube prayer warriors out there, Christ spiritual cyberspace on YouTube, on prophecy, on London's Olympic Games 2012. I'm going to show you a connection here with God give me new revelation from the throne room of heaven with Antichrist, Obama's New World Order agenda with the London Olympic Games 2012. Uh, Antichrist Obama become President of the United States January the 20th, 2009. Coming up here, keep your eyes on the date or July the 20th, 2012. That's going to be three and a half years of his reign as President of the United States. That date, July the 12th, 2000, I mean, July the 20th, 2012, something that happened to President Obama that day. But seven days later, the London Olympic Games opened in uh, the UK. And... Uh, President Obama's uh, birthday is on August the 4th. The uh, London Olympics run from uh, July the 27th to August the 12th. And President Obama's birthday is right there in the middle on August the 4th. It's eight days, you know, before his birthday and eight days after his birthday. And the number eight means new beginnings. And you can see some new things here with Antichrist Obama's going to do changing the times, the laws, the seasons here, and him being president of the United States. And the Olympic Games started in 776 B.C. on Olympia, uh, Greece. And it was dedicated. Uh, here's another connection for Antichrist Obama to the god Zeus. And when President Obama was running his first term for president of the United States in 2008, he dedicated his uh, Democratic Convention in Denver, Colorado. He had the altar of Zeus right there in 2008. Now 2012 coming up, and his birthday is going to be kind of uh, halfway point in the Olympic Games, and it looks like the new world order there with President Obama's birthday. He's dedicating his his life there on Zeus's altar in the uh, Olympic Games in London, UK, there on August the 4th, 2012. And You'll see another connection with New World Order there. You're seeing that they're going to have lights like pyramids at the stadium there. And remember that date when the Olympic Games started at 7, 776 B.C. That in 1770, uh, 1776 A.D., that's when our uh, United States of America was birthed. And now that uh, New World Order uh, symbol there on the, in the stadium is going to be the lights there that they're birthing for 2012. This is the start at the beginning of the end with the New World Order and that is the connection with Antichrist Obama and with the New World Order at the London Olympic Games 2012. And also the Greek Empire is being destroyed by the European Union right now. It's all in the timing. You know, it's all in the signs. The Greeks goes by wisdom and the Jews by the sign. And this is a sign of God that what's happening right there, that uh, the European Union being resurrected, that's a new Roman Empire. We're seeing this happen here. And uh, it's an exciting time to be alive, to see things getting tied in with Antichrist Obama, New World Order with his London Olympic Games and London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. You know, watch out, could be a terrorist attack in, you know, uh, London, UK there. You know, it could be uh, Big Ben might be striking the midnight hour there. You might be see, you know, a, a time still here, something happened. Could be some kind of terrible disaster with the terrorist. You know, we don't know what's going to happen there, but God knows what's going to happen. But I'm going to... Uh, Bring this in together right now. Bring it down where road hits the rubber here in the Bible, in the Holy Bible. that's tied into the uh, London Olympic Games 2012. When Paul was here over uh, just a little under 2,000 years ago, he was going to Athens, Greece. That's why I'm going to read out of the Bible today in the Holy 
Bible in Acts uh, chapter 17. We're going to start with verse 15 and go through verse 33. <clears throat> and they that, con that conducted Paul brought it to him brought him unto Athens and received the commandment unto Silas and Timothy to, for to come to him with all speed they departed. Now while Paul waited for them in Athens, his spirit was stirred in him when he saw the city wo woefully given to idolatry. Therefore disputed he in a synagogue with the Jews and with devout persons and in the market daily with them that met with him. Then certain philosophers of the your your ancients and the stocks in intercounted him and as some say what will this babbler say others some he seemed to be a set of forth of strange gods because he preached unto them jesus and the resurrection and they took him and brought him into our pagiest saying may we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is for thou bringest certain strange things to our ears we would know therefore what these things mean. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else, but neither to tell or to hear some new thing. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill, and he said, Ye men of Athens, and we're talking about Greece here now, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, to an unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you, God that made the whole world and all things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in the temples made with hands, neither is worship with the man's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations and men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and have determined the time before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord if, if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and we move and we have our being, as certain also of your own poets, poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. And at times of his ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day in which, in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, wherefore he had given assurance unto all men, in that he has raised them from the dead, and when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, and others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them. And praise Jesus' holy name that we don't have an unknown God. You know, we got our God's name, the God of Israel. And here's one more thing in the prophecy on London's uh, Olympic Games 2012. In 1948, when... Last time London had Olympic Games there, Israel become a state in 1948, and they was at war there. And now in 2012, it looks like Israel about ready to get in a war, World Three. The Bible prophecy is going to be fulfilled again here, and that is the word of the Lord today. That this uh, London Olympic Games 2012, it's all to the Zeus, Antichrist, Obama is being offered on there. You know. To get all his darkness, his power, his lying signs, wonders, and miracles. And we're seeing these things. Don't worship, you know, uh, the Olympic Games. Don't worship the idols. Worship the Lord thy God. He's a jealous God. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. And you're going to be okay. But you're going to see uh, the signs today on uh, June the 10th, 2012. They're having an earthquake right there around Greece somewhere off the islands. So that's a sign from God that we're... Seeing the, the, the earthquake, the moaning, groaning creation, and thunders and lightnings, that God is not uh, pleased with this idolatry, uh, with these uh, London Olympic Games 2012. They started dedicating back in 776 BC to the God Zeus. You know, he's a false god, and idol worship idolatry. 
And that's what we're going to see happen. So that's the connection with Antichrist, Obama's connection to the New World Order with the agenda at the London Olympic Games 2012. And this is your time. This is your opportunity. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, maybe you've been chasing many false gods all these years. Maybe you've been worshiping out there uh, the astrology, the gods of, uh, of Rome or, or Greece. And this is the time, you know, the, the repent and put down your false gods and your idols and, and just lift up the God of Israel and make Jesus your Savior Messiah. This is your opportunity. This is your time. Say this prayer with me right now. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. You know, Jesus Christ died for you and forgives you for your sin and saved your soul. This is your or oh, This is your opportunity. Just agree with me. Say these words and for God's glory. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent of all my wicked ways. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name in the land book of life. Lord Jesus Christ, I have eternal life with you. Amen, amen. You said that prayer. Give Jesus the best hand clap. You're the richest man or woman ever walked the face of earth if you didn't have a penny in your pocket. And right now, Lord Jesus Christ, you know, we give you the praise and glory on all your people out there just accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. On my featured page on George and Betty Kelly's uh, website on YouTube, write me a letter. We have our address there. Email me. And, and I, I give God the, all the praise, honor, and glory today. Let the hand of God be upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of the feet. Oh, Lord Jesus. Touch him with the Holy Ghost and fire. And let thy mantle fall double portion on me in the name of Jesus. Have your way. This is your greatest decision in your life. Cover with the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Nobody shall pluck them out of your hand. That a hand of the Lord rest upon them. Oh, Lord Jesus, we know you're returning soon. Thank you, Jesus. Keep praying for George and Betty Kelly here in the Lisa Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville. Oh, Lord, we're praying for you. We love you. Give God all the praise and honor and glory. Jesus returning soon. This is your greatest day. Jesus Christ just came in your heart. Your greatest decision you ever make in your life. Just praise God. Praise His holy name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everything I breath, praise your holy name. We don't pray to the rocks or cry out and praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the many souls. Thank you, Jesus, for hundreds, for thousands, for millions. Thank you, Jesus. God, we love you, Jesus. We love you. Thank you, Jesus.